Welcome to the last day of testing. You're tired, you're fatigued, you probably left this another day because you're like, crap Tom, I'm knackered. All right, we've got squats, push presses, pull-ups, and a little sprinkling of ESD. It's not long though, all power stuff, okay? So we've got, again, mobility, some cool videos, going through a little bit of uh, mobility, movement prep, and your velocity and resilience-based training. Um, and then we move straight into our squats, okay? So, right. Squat power test, obviously we know now that squats are a little bit slower than deadlifts, but we're still gonna be looking for um, our, our kind of body weight relativity and over kind of the 0.75 of the max velocity of what your load's lifting, okay? So I have gone front squats on here. This is up to you what you want to do as a squat, as a, it essentially just says squat power test. I don't mind if you back squat, high bar squat, low bar squat, overhead squat, Probably not going to do that, are you? Front squat um, or safety bar squat. That is absolutely fine as long as you can fit the um, a nice um, a nice weight plate on it. Then that's absolutely fine, right? Okay. So I've gone front squats here, and we're looking for um, I've gone 0.75 of my body weight, so 75% body weight, um, anywhere from around there and upwards probably is give or take about right. Considering we went deadlifts, we will exactly body weight for this. We're doing 0 0.75, maybe 0 0.6, maybe 0 0.8 around there, um, as long as it's faster than 0.75 on the MS, so our meters per second on our metric, um, because we're looking for that highest uh, velocity. Okay, you can see on a little snippet there, my last rep was 0.78, so I'm assuming that was quicker than that on the last couple. So we're looking for that max velocity only. All right, three reps, give us your best, okay? That should warm us up, be our feeder sets and our intent. Remember, we're moving with intent every single time. And that concentric action is massive, all right? So then we go into our squat strength test, okay? So you're gonna ramp up from where we were on our power and essentially hit our 5RM. Again, 0.5 and below, once we've averaged that out, we'll be about right, okay? So we'll definitely be able to go above 100 kilos, I'm pretty sure, as you'll probably see from the video. Um, and then we're gonna go from there there. And as soon as we hit that average below the 0.5, that's our marker for our testing week. And then we'll replicate that in ten, no, eight to 10 weeks time, right? So we're going to move through our overhead power now, right? So remember on day two, we did overhead strength, which was just our strict press, our military press. Um, we're going to use the same load that you did for that, but put it into a push press, okay? So whatever you maxed out on, so ramp up, use a couple of feeder sets or a couple of warm up sets to go towards this weight. And then you're gonna hit max power on a push press on the load you did on your overhead press. Cool. So it's kind of relative. You can see what velocity you're obtaining from that push effect. And you can see that kind of kinetic linkage going from your lower body to upper body to overhead. What that does in terms of the weight you are shifting on your overhead press. I guarantee you're gonna move quicker. That's why it's the power test, right? If we need to drop it down, that's absolutely fine, but I'm pretty sure you won't. You're just looking for a max velocity over three reps, okay? And you probably did that for one, two, or three reps on your, uh, hopefully, on your overhead strength test, all right? Um, our last kind of real strength thing is a pull-up and wrap, all right? So I'm not looking for any loaded. I'm looking for you to do as many as you can. Obviously, <laughs> if we're lighter, this will probably be easier, but it's all relative to your own body weight, okay? But we're not doing any DBT. That is just, these two are just largely general strength and a six second peak power, okay? It's up to you if you want to do this again. We've got a watt bike happening there. Anything that measures wattage, which could be a rower. We probably want a ski erg, a rower. Ideally, a watt bike is the best thing or any kind of bike or a um, assault bike will be awesome as well. Okay, within six seconds, just go as hard as you can. All right, and that will round out your testing for the whole of the week.